Do you know the great man, Aaron, his two children was born to ashes and fire because of disobedience God gave to their father, Aaron, instruction. Exodus 30, from 7 to 10, instruction God gave him. They refused. The Aaron shall burn on it sweet incense every morning. When he tend the lamp, he shall burn incense on it. Listen, not fire. He on the lamp and put incense on it. And when Aaron lights the lamp, he didn't say put fire. Light the lamp at what? Twilight. He shall burn incense on it. A what? A perpetual incense before the Lord throughout his generation. He said, you shall not offer strange incense on it or a burnt offering or a green offering. Nor shall you pour a drink offering on it. And Aaron shall make atonement upon its horns once a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonement. Once a year he shall make atonement upon it throughout your generation. It shall, it is most holy to the Lord. It is holy to me. This is my instruction. Aaron, I'm giving you this instruction. Don't break it. See, we don't serve a promising God. We serve a confident keeping God. When I see people preaching rubbish, I say, what can God change? In Malachi 3, from verse 6, he said, I am the Lord. I change it not. Just like the way I am, so I am. So if I've said 100 years ago, kill, kill. Nobody should change his word. But Aaron's sons, son, disobeyed the instruction. In Leviticus 10, from verse 1 to 3, they disobeyed. Look at what happened. He said, look at the son, two sons. Then Nadab and Abiha, the sons of Aaron, each took his censor and put fire. He didn't say she put fire, put a lamp. Put fire in it. Put incense on it, anyhow. And offered profound fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. So fire went out from the Lord and devoured them. And they died before the Lord. In verse 3, God now commanded Moses, Go and tell Aaron he should not mourn his two children, or else I kill him. We serve a killing God. That is true, Papa. First Samuel 2 says, God kills, God makes alive. Long ago, he told me, He said, Son, any day you misbehave, I take you off. Sir, any man that comes in this church, dead or alive, even if I'm dead or alive, to accuse me, kill him. Hear you, sir. I have never offended any man or woman dead or alive. That's Why? I only fear Yeshua. I'm the only man you can't ask me anything I will say it. Why? I know the God I am worshipping. That is the reason why you see this supernatural blessing.